Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. We have a slash 4x4 here. Um, I want to show you how to remove your back bumper to be able to replace it with an aftermarket one, worst case scenario, or put the same one back that's not broken. Couple, couple of uh, not difficult steps here. Now this is a slash with sway bars. You don't need to really to remove the sway bars. The only thing you would need is on the back bumper you'll have two screws here to remove and two more here now these that holds the sway bar are 2.5 and you'll notice the sway bar just physically starts moving i'm not sure if you can really see it and it just starts moving here. Now we'll have two more screws here and those are two mil. That's the top bumper part that holds it to the bulkhead. And these are the long ones. If you notice. And remove the other one. Yes, we're having fire department in around here. Not sure if you guys could hear that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to flip the vehicle upside down. And we have two more screws here that they are two mil. And these two guys are very short, at least. And you have another one right here that will prevent the complete bumper from getting removed. Now, some aftermarket bumpers may not need to be re screwed at the same place. The ones that I know of, yes. And that's a long one too. And if you see it right now, it wiggles out of this way. And you just remove it. You'll have your bumper aside. Now just be careful. There is the uh, pin retainer right here. That's in blue. Super easy to lose or just to drop. What it does, it keeps your the two pins from getting separated and holds them there at the same time. And then you grab your new bumper if it's the same from Traxxas. Here, it might be hard to see. It's kind of a, a keyed insertion. Those inserts right here. What I do, basically, I come like an angle underneath here and just kind of popped it. And when that's in, I'll do the middle one. Because that way, pretty much holds it there. And I don't force it until I can't tighten it anymore. Because you got to remember, these screws are screwed in plastic. And if you continue forcing it, forcing it, uh, you're just going to strip your plastic. Now there's a way to fix that and I do have a video uh, on it how to fix strip screws with CA glue in plastic. Now we're just going to re-screw this one here. That one back too. Flip the vehicle over. Insert that one. Insert that one. Now, you again, you can do it for a drill. Just make sure your drill that you have has a clutch on it. 
and I would say to maybe depending on the brand of it I have a rigid the small rigid drills uh, and I put on number one and I'm used to it now I know exactly basically start slowing down on the trigger preventing stripping because even sometimes on setting number one that's the lowest for the clutch to start slipping I strip some screws sometimes I got just got used to it but nothing beats uh, the old-fashioned way with a screwdriver in your hands and just turning a wrench now what I'm going to do is grab my screw from my sway bar the correct size 2.5 and if you notice there is a key here again that the sway bar sits in it I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure grab my screw and screw it in and when I feel that's tightened enough I'm going to stop do the same thing for the other side don't need to hold it this time and very good and you would have your brand new bumper on it now if you guys have any questions or comment post them below I'll be gladly to answer you guys and don't forget if you like this video hit the thumbs up in the corner I do appreciate that and it does help a lot and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching